Well, that moment has arrived. You've been looking and looking on YouTube to find out who's doing the review, who's doing the unboxing. I've only found one unboxing video for this thing. You already know what it is. It's the Bird ES1300 that you can, well, I'm sure you probably found it at Sam's Club that you looked at, wondered about it, blah, blah, blah. Definitely on Amazon. I've seen it on there before. And you can pick it up at, at uh, Sam's Club for $350, like I did this morning. Now, I've only had one hour worth of riding, so this is not a review, tech review kind of thing. No, this is just going to tell you the highlights of different things you can look for that no one else is telling you about. Uh, let's go with the obvious one that everybody's wondering. App. Yeah, it could do your app as well. Uh, you could connect it to an app if there was one that actually existed. It does have Bluetooth capabilities. It does have uh, the locking mechanism capabilities. But you need an app in order to do that. And Bird and Segway. Yes, I said Segway because that's who actually is the backer behind it as well. Um, they're 9 bot app which is from segway if you're not familiar with that it does um kind of yes and no connects to it a little bit it will you hit the button to connect and it just beeps waits for it to try to connect and it just fails. so it's not supported yet but i'm sure eventually they're, they, if they didn't put those features in there i'm sure they're going to eventually get to that point on making a app or the app work for it and i've tried the global one as well because segway has two apps regular and the global and then the bird app it requires a qi co code that you connect to it and it won't connect. Um, not to mention that there is no Q code on the manual or the device itself. So you're gonna have a hard time trying to connect it with just scanning it with your phone. And last but not least, let's, well, actually it's not last but not least, what am I talking about? No, the best thing I like about this so far is that it does go up hills really nicely. I'm about 230 pounds. Um, we're talking about a really steep hill, not a re regular casual hill that goes up and down in the regular roads. I'm talking about a really good steep hill. I can go about five to six miles an hour. So if that kind of gives you a little comparison to yourself, I uh, hope, you know, kind of answers some questions. Now, on a regular type of hill that I would, you know, give as a scenario about 20, 25 degrees upward, you know, uh, I can range, uh, I've seen it go from being around nine miles an hour to around 12 miles an hour, just depending on how steep it is, you know, between that 20 and 25 uh, degree angle. And it handles it really well. It really does. Uh, when you go level or even downhill, you can reach anywhere from the, that 16 miles an hour all the way up to 18 miles an hour if you're that type of daredevil. Uh, it does have brakes, lights, I mean. <laughs> uh, it does have brake lights, and it does have a front light. It is kind of bright, so that would probably also help drain your battery, but be very cautious about that. Um, the brake. Now, the brake is actually pretty um, unique, I think. I've seen a lot of scooters and electric bikes have the hand-pressing one. This one actually has a mechanical one. I was skeptic at first, but I've actually kind of to like, to like it really well. It does slow you down. It's kind of like if you were to throttle, if you're, if you're familiar with a scooter, um, or push throttle. You throttle, and you feel that little jump that's pushing you forward, and then when you let go, it kind of slows you down. But then if you push the electric uh, mechanic brake, it kind of does the opposite. Like it just kind of clamps down to where it just slows you down gradually. Um, and it does have an intensifier. So the more you push it, the more harsh the brake is. So don't lean forward when you're pushing uh, the little mechanical brake. Uh, I was impressed. Now, if you don't really like that mechanism, you don't have to use it. They have one that's on the back where you push down with your foot. That's another uh, braking. They got two braking portions on this thing, which is pretty nice. Um, I think I mentioned that, right? The charging portion where it tells you what percentage is on. Um, if I haven't, hey, there you go. <laughs> it does have a charging portion to um, where it tells you what percentage you're at. So you know exactly how ideal, how far you're going to go. Um, now, that this is kind of the scooter that you would want to use if you're pretty close by to work or if you just wanted to go somewhere quick and you just wanted to carry maybe, maybe a draw. Uh, you know, like a draw bag or a drawstring bag. And you can keep the charger on you too. So if you have to go pretty far and you know you're going to be at least more than um, 15 miles, which that's what it says, it can go on a single charge. I would dumb that down maybe to 12 miles, maybe 11, be on the safe side, just so that way you know and plan out your actual trip. And uh, if you know you're going to go that far, bring your charger, bring your drawstring. Because I'm, like I said, I'm 230 pounds and it's rated at 220. And it got me up a steep, steep hill that's, a, I want to say, a little bit more than 50, uh, 45, maybe more than 50 uh, angle-wise. And it was able to go about 5 to 6 miles an hour. I know that's not very fast, but still, come on, that, that's actually pretty impressive for such a small scooter. And 
Oh yeah, it has a little cool lights on the bottom of the board too, so it doesn't just have the red for the stop uh, stop braking the headlight. It actually has LED lights that are on the bottom, so you can actually be constantly seen at nighttime. I don't recommend you know if you're going to be riding this thing at nighttime to not have maybe a reflector vest on or something. It's pretty cheap, like two bucks on Amazon. Why not? Um, but that's all I have for it right now. I'm going to eventually go ahead and do a ride review in a few days. Um, that way I can actually get more experience with it. I've only had about an hour. So uh, once I get the um, m you know footage for that, I'll let y'all know. And I'll even have a level so that we can see how steep the hill I'm talking about. Because I will go up that thing. I will show you how fast I'm going and everything. And then I'll show you like the mild ones with the, with the leveler that I have and everything. So that we can at least get an idea concept uh, of it. But yeah, uh, definitely support me. Please hit the like button if you don't mind. And if you want to... Watch that other video eventually in a couple of days or so. Hit that like button. Hit that notification button. Hit the bell, maybe. Jeez. Let me uh hear that ring a ding ding. But yeah, here's the box. Probably seen it at Sam's Club. There's a the scooter. Ta da. And I'll see y'all in the next video.